um, talking about hiyo situation takurudisha mm. nyuma kidogo mm. wakati umeachana na V na tayari V ameshaanzisha mahusiano yake mengine na Rutimi the minute ambapo V alikuwa ka post picture za ujauzito wake mm. baadaye kidogo kaja ukatoa ngoma ya sina neno mm. this time again imetoka ngoma ya bado mm. ni kama mashabiki wanapigia mstari kwamba it seems like jugs kwa ume umekutana na situation ya kuachwa mm. au kuachana kwenye mahusiano yako mm. mziki ndio kitu pekee ambacho unaweza ka express feelings zako yes. na hicho ndio kitu ambacho pia unakifanya unarudi kule kwenye jukes alipotokea kwenye R&B mm. hapa sikiki tena is to keys mm. producer ni Bob Maneke kwenye yeah. sina neno alikuwa Bob Maneke mm. kwenye bado pia ni Bob Maneke kama mm. kuna code flani unai tafuta mm. uweze ku express feelings zako mm. hii situation ambayo imetokea bado ni ngoma ambayo pia umetengeneza maalum kwa kuweza ku express feelings zako kwenye hichi kipindi cha miezi mitatu yeah, yeah you know uh, mimi as an artist mziki kuna part ni maisha yangu na kuna part entertainment kama idea kwa sababu mimi ni binadamu naishi mm. watu wananifuatilia wanajua from the beginning nitasubiri na nini kuna vitu ambavyo mimi naviishi kama msanii kuna watu wanatamani ndio maana ambiwa if you are celebrity hata watu wanaweza kuwa wanatamani kwamba ukinywa chai unakunywa chai na nini ukiwa nafanya nini hiyo mm-hmm. ni part hiyo ndio kazi ambayo nimeichagua kwa hiyo kikitokea kitu chochote ambacho nini for example uh, kama nyimbo ya bado nyimbo ya bado ni wimbo ambao kwanza walivyotoa umeugusa watu wengi sana situation ya ma, ya watu ku, kuumizwa kuumizwa kwenye mapenzi au kuwa disappointed kwenye mapenzi yeah. au kutokea nini ni kila siku watu wanapitia so first of all ndio maana hata kwa nyimbo zangu waga siwekagi majina wala i don't mention names kwa sababu mimi pia ni mtumishi wa mashabiki zangu kwenye kazi mm-hmm. kingine pia kuna maisha yangu binafsi It can be true kuna inspiration nimepata kuna maisha ambayo nimepitia kuja kuandika bado yeah. adika tokoya kwa vile kwa sababu na prefer kuweka vitu vingi kwenye mziki kwa sababu mziki unaishi na unakaa kwa muda mrefu kuliko kuanza kuongea ongea vitu nini so bado ni kitu ambacho nimefanya kwa watu wengine pia kuna vitu vyangu mwenyewe binafsi mule nini lakini naweza nikasema ni wimbo ambao wa watu wote. Oh yeah. Everybody can use the song. Yeah. Twende kwenye bado ngoma inaanza mwanzoni kabisa unasema mm. nakumbuka sura yako, nakumbuka jina lako, mm. nakumbuka tabasam uzuri na uh, uzuri wa pendo lako mm. siwezi kusahau ila na ulaumu moyo kukupenda <laughs> too much. Yeah. Ulikuwa umependa too much na hiki ndo kipindi ambacho ulikuwa <coughs> umefall in love yani ile chizi kabisa usiki uone kwa zindo <laughs> line ambayo imefungua ngoma. Uh, I can say me hakuna hakuna kipindi ambacho just fall in love mm-hmm. to be honest for all my exes wanawake wangu wote kila mwanamke mimi na fall in love you love too hard eh mimi nikipenda nikipenda mtu wanapenda kweli na nabaki mtu pu mm-hmm. na sahau mapenzi yana maumivu oh siachi tu that's a chorus mm-hmm. kwamba nikimpendaga mtu nampenda kweli yani wote mpenda yani amna mtu ambaye simpende na nafsema kwamba nakumbuka sura yako nakumbuka nini yako ni, ni kitu kizuri kama wewe umeshaikuwa mwanamke wangu mm-hmm. officially mm-hmm. wa jukes mm-hmm. wewe ni mwanamke bora oh yeah you are a good girl so oh, yeah. you can't just date jukes if you are not a good girl you understand oh, yeah. you have a, you have to be a good girl mm-hmm. kwa hiyo wewe ni mwanamke bora ni mwanamke mzuri ila binadamu kila binadamu ana mapungufu amna binadamu ambaye yuko sawa yeah. lakini hadi unapitishwa kwa kigezo cha kuwa girlfriend wangu na mimi nasema kabisa huyu ni official girlfriend wangu. Na kwenda public. Public. Wewe mm. ni mwanamke bora tayari. Ndio maana nilivanza face kwamba nakumbuka I remember everything. I remember your face. Mm-hmm. I remember I remember I even nakumbuka sura yako, nakumbuka jina lako, nakumbuka tabasamu, uzuri wa pendo lako siwezi kusahau. Mm. You understand? I remember everything. Hadi uzuri wa pendo na kumbuka. As I said I'm a positive guy. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mimi kuna vitu vile hata hapa leo mm. kama una swali zuri la kuniuliza kuhusu Karen na ex wangu yote mm. nitalijibu swali baya siongee. Mm. Yaani mabaya sitaongea mabaya nitabaki nayo mimi. Mm-hmm. I'll never say anything bad kwa mm-hmm. sababu kitaweza kuna mimi kitu kibaya nikamsababishia mtu mwingine akaona ah kumbe huyu mtu yuko hivyo. Kumbe kile kitu sio kitu kikubwa nikamsababishia hata mtu huko na maisha yake mbele akakosa baraka nyingine ambayo ni sahihi mm-hmm. Mungu atanihukumu. Wewe unafungua Eh kama love, ni love, ukitaka ukitaka nikwambie mambo mazuri nitakwambia. Niambie vitu vitano ambavyo unavipenda una kwa Karen. Uh, she's a beautiful girl mm-hmm. kwanza. Uh, ana mpole. Mm-hmm. Anapenda kujifunza. Uh, kitu kingine uh, naweza nikasema uh, supportive au of course by the way. Nilikuwa naona ana support sana kwa yeah, that's true. Mm-hmm. Supportive. Yoksa ana support pia 
naweza sana lazima hivyo ni sana charming charming like always happy caring yeah of course she is ana care pia mm-hmm. yani kama nilivyokuambia ili upitishwe kuwa kwenye kwenye kuwa kwa girlfriend wangu na sio yeye sio yeye tu sasa kuna unasema nimetupa ndoano nimeambulia patupu kwamba i tried this again but didn't work mm-hmm. You understand? Nimetupa ndoano nimeambulia patupu. Nimetupa ndoano nimeambulia patupu. Yaani kwamba unje mimi kila napoingia kwenye mahusiano. Mm. What I'm, what I'm saying to myself, I want this to to work to be the last. Okay. Eh, hey, yani nimeshavuka kusema eti hapa bwana mimi najaribisha tunaondoka. I'm just waiting. Yaani hivyo vitu. Yaani hiyo ni kitu ambacho wewe una, unajiambia mwenyewe ndani yako. Kabisa. Kwa naomba Mwenyezi Mungu naomba nini. Lakini sasa okay. lakini you never know. Najua mm. labda watu wanakuwa mjapangiwa au nini. Mm. Kwa hiyo ni nimetupa ndoano nimeulia patupu kwamba I tried this time kurusha ndoano nimetoa mm-hmm. bwana patupu tena. Inaniumiza bari. Inacho yani kinachoniumiza sio tu kuachana. Mm. You understand? Kinachoniumiza kwamba why this thing doesn't work? Kwa nini hivi vitu haviwe sawa? Mm. Kwa nini hichi lakini pia tunarudi kule kule kwamba me I believe in God. Mm-hmm. Mwenyezi Mungu ndo anatupangia sisi. Mm-hmm. Atujui kesho yetu kitatokea kitu gani. So yeah. That's it. Unasema nita move on. Mm. Inaniumiza lakini nita move on. Yeah. Ukijiangalia sasa hivi at some point umesha move on mm. na maybe labda uko na mahusiano mengine mm. au bado bado. No no no, no. sasa hivi bado kwa sababu mm. to be honest ni mapema sana. Mm. Yaani muda wenyewe umepita I think few months ago. Mm. Mapema sasa hivi namshukuru Mungu I'm good to be honest. Yaani niko sawa kabisa niko vizuri and there's no any problem ambao mna kitu wasemi nasemaga mm. hata ukisikiza nyimbo ya bado ni kitu ambayo nimeimba ndio hivi hivi lakini it's just the moment ambayo kwanza duniani to be honest hakunaga mtu ambaye ana kutu, anatoka nje ya mahusiano na mtu ambaye wame spend time muda mrefu afa akasema tu kwamba niko sawa hata kama wewe ulikuwa uyataki yale mahusiano. Yeah, kuna namna itakuchukua. Ita, ita yeah, kuna namna kwa sababu this time energy there's a moment. lot of things moments unajua yeah. kibina sana, sana moments yeah, yeah. kibinadamu na na, 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 na mara nyingi vitu vinavyokuwa vinaumiza au kufikirika ni vitu vizuri sio vibaya mm. hauwezi kuwa nasema kabla ah, mimi naniuma girlfriend wangu nimeachana naye lakini alikuwa mchoyo ikakuuma mm. unasema mm-hmm. da ukikaa tu mwenyewe unasema bwana kuna siku na sema alikuwa gana alikuwa gana ana nini nzuri alikuwa na hivyo ndio vitu ambavyo vina nini kwa hiyo technically tu kama ulikuwa huko serious mm. kwa sababu mimi amo always serious kwenye mahusiano mm-hmm. nikiwa na mwanamke na kuwa serious unajicommit na jicommit na i'll do my best mm-hmm. kufanya nionekane ni mwanaume wake na nini kwa hiyo ikitokea hivyo ita nini lakini nashukuru Mwenyezi Mungu kwamba maybe maturity na kuwa pia yeah. kwamba this time imetokea hivyo kibi na damu inakuwa ndio kuna kitu nakipitia nini lakini i'm good na mshukuru ili kuchukua kiasi gani mpaka unasema kwamba kibinadamu lazima utaifeel hivyo na kama mtu kweli ulikuwa uko serious naye kwa hata kwenye ngoma unasema mm. homa si homa mm. hata nikinywa pombe bado mm. situation si ilitokea au umeweka tu kwenye usanii hiyo <laughs> unajua kama nilivyosema mm. ile nyimbo ni ya watu wote mm-hmm. there's parts of bado kuna jukes pale mm-hmm. definitely the first part is me mm-hmm. na kumbuka sura yako hiyo mimi mm-hmm kunywa pombe mimi sikuwahi kuwa na stress nikasema nimi pombe ilizitoke lakini i believe there's people on the streets doing that ndo maana hata nyimbo nyingi zinatokaa kwamba bora tukalewe tunywe pombe mm-hmm. kwa hiyo nimewaikia watu wengine sio naumia peke yangu au sio kwamba nimepata na hilo janga peke yangu au mm-hmm. sio kwamba hichi kitu sijakipenda peke yangu you understand mm-hmm. kuna mtu mwiko mtani hata sasa hivi tunavyofanya interview hapa anakunywa pombe huko ili mradi kuna kashapigwa labda tukio ili mambo yaishi <laughs> ana stress zake eh hey, akisikiza bado pia itamfariji so there's parts zangu kuna parts zingine za watu wengine pia kwa oh, yeah. sababu mimi ni msanii wao oh, yeah. yeah. hivi mmekaa kama muda gani hivi uh, not mistaken maybe direct two years maybe two years. kama sio two years mwaka mmoja na nusu straight yeah. kulikuwa na back and forth na nini lakini oh, two years the little 